For many people, wine is very, very exciting, but it is so difficult to approach or understand. But demystifying wine so you can enjoy it much more and you can learn about it more easily is actually very, very simple. Whether you're promoting wine, serving wine, selling wine, or just enjoying it. The flavor of wine is influenced by many variables, including the variety of grapes, where the grapes were grown, how they were grown, how the wine is made in the winery, and how long the wine has been aged. And that generates in wine many different aromas which come and go, and for us to be able to describe them, we need words. And the problem with that is most people don't have words for aromas. The reason they don't is the fact that there's no aroma primaries like there are with colors, red, yellow, and blue. The second reason is that aroma is, ident is usually visually cued. So if you smell some orange in a wine, you may smell it, but you do not see it. And since we don't have a visual cue, there aren't oranges in glasses of wine or strawberries in glasses of red wine. We need to be able to recognize the aroma without the visual cue. The Wine Aroma Wheel is a tool which can help you enhance your enjoyment of wine and it has a dictionary, a list of words that are the most commonly encountered ones in wines, and those used to describe wine aromas. Typically, most wines can be described as, for example, fruity, or maybe spicy, or maybe even slightly herbal. But we can be more specific than that. The Wine Aroma Hill has a many immediate other terms that are more specific than the general term fruity, for example, such as, is it a citrus aroma, or is it a berry aroma, or is it a tropical fruit aroma, such as pineapple or something? And if it's a citrus aroma, can you actually say it's a grapefruit? For this reason, then, the, your enjoyment can truly be increased as you can understand what the wine is telling you because you've been listening to your nose and you have the words to use to describe the aroma.